So, uh, this is into deep, which is a procedural uh, cave flyer. It's going to be like a roguelike cave flyer where it generates cave levels and you have to explore. And there's going to be a whole ecosystem of plants and animals and things that inhabit the caves and uh, produce various gameplay bits and pieces. But what I'm going to talk about is uh, this is obviously a very early prototype, but uh, I've been messing around with this fluid system that handles all these big patches of blue, which are meant to be water. Um, Rendering-wise, it looks terrible, but um, I'm just, just going to talk a bit about the way that it handles uh, moving the water around, because you should see that if I shoot the terrain here, the terrain's all destructible. So uh, what happens is if I um, if I shoot here, you see it's recalculating where the water should be. If I shoot a big hole through the floor, all the water drains out and flows around. It's kind of kind of quite pretty looking the way it moves. I think uh, it's come out quite well. So, um, basically this is uh, based around the old cellular automata sort of approach of just having a big grid. Um, I can't really be asked to explain it in any detail here. I've written a blog post that goes along with this video to sort of talk very briefly about how it works. But it's basically a big grid that, it's, uh, that represents the world and how much water there should be at each position in the world and some rules about how to move it around. Um, but I'm actually quite happy with a the resolution that I've managed to keep it at uh, the, the like sort of um, uh, the resolution of the model is quite quite good. The, the, um, there's lots and lots of water in the level, and it still manages to flow about quite quickly. Like if I find a nice big patch somewhere that I can blow a hole through the floor and show you it moving around. It's actually quite slick. Um, but the, the real thing I'm kind of happy with is that it also simulates pressure quite well. So um, if I find a nice place to demo that quickly, if I fly around... Doobie 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 doo. Just um, there's a nice big patch. Ooh, this looks good. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so here's a big, big bit of water. If I, um... If I drill a little hole through the terrain down here, try not to blow myself up in the process, and just make this kind of tunnel that goes alongside this patch of water. When I cut through here, you should find that the water flows up the channel here and balances out, and it should do it pretty quickly. It's... Yeah, like that. So now you see the water level across where the channel I cut is and the original surface of the water is is uh, roughly level, which is kind of what we want. But also, generally, if I sort of allow the water to just flow about, you don't. it does pile up a little there where the water's flowing down, but it's not as bad as these models typically would be. I think the pressure modeling has kind of helped that quite a lot. And there's a, there's a short bit on my blog about how I went about doing that. It's basically just really uh, a method that's kind of nicked from Dwarf Fortress and um, and just made a lot quicker using crazy brute force threading stuff. So, yeah, but yeah, I mean, I'm quite happy with the performance of, the, of this. I mean, that's quite a lot of water flowing around and it doesn't seem to affect the frame rate of the game at all. And it's, yeah, flowing pretty quickly. So yeah, it's quite good. Anyway, I'm just gonna fly around and play with it a little, show you some more of it. There's obviously some texturing problems there uh, that I need to fix, which I just haven't been bothered with yet because, again, this is really just a prototype to kind of prove out the tech more than anything. Um, but uh, it's coming along quite well. The next thing I'm going to do is put in some some plant life that, so that the, there's going to be a simulation of all kinds of things like airflow and like uh, different chemicals that are in the rocks and things like that and the idea is that then plants will grow on the rocks depending on what the balance of chemicals is so you can kind of change those things by kind of flooding different areas to cause different kinds of plants to grow and that kind of stuff and you can um, you know change the balance of the ecosystem and just kind of makes it quite fun to explore hopefully well we'll find out anyway
It's actually just quite fun just to... Oop, I died. Oh dear. That's the end, I guess. <laughs>